I think every now and then it's important to have an adventure on a Tuesday. I'm heading to Jersey, an island I've never been to before, for a little self-propelled mission of discovery. As we flew over the Channel Islands, I got chatting to my neighbours who live on the island and got excited about what was to come. And I tried my best not to judge young Ethan for being a fan of motorised vehicles. The sun was shining as we descended. I can't believe I've never been here before. I was enjoying breakfast at home about three hours ago. And what incredible weather for my first introduction to Jersey. It's just like this local Stinky Bay beer. I felt that a main ingredient to this stay was, naturally, going to be adventure. The next morning I jumped on a bicycle to start my journey. The plan is kind of simple. I've got 36 hours to explore what the locals call the island break. Let's go and have a ride around Jersey. I don't actually own a bike, so it felt great riding around the bay, leaving St Helier behind and heading for the west coast. There are bike paths all over Jersey, so getting around on two wheels is nice and easy. I stopped off briefly at Corbiere Lighthouse, mainly for the downhill, before the ocean drew me in. Dave, <laughs> <Just>, uh, <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 Tico, the famous surfing yeah. club of Jersey. Right, I reckon a medium. Yeah. A nice snug medium. It's time to go surfing. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it to the dog. Thanks, buddy. Our oh, pleasure. 90 minutes in the Atlantic will work up an appetite. So I jumped back on the bike and sped to Faulkner Fisheries, which is based in an old German bunker from World War II. Oh, there we are. Thank you, sir. There you oh, go. look at that. How's that? Good man. Oh, All right. Good. I'm not sure anything makes me happier than fish and chips served in newspaper. Wow, that was good. After lunch, I had a unique dessert waiting for me. Kaz owns Wild Adventures and is a foraging expert. This is Jersey's version of your uh, natural toilet paper. This is like, right, you know, wiping your, your bottom with like pure rabbit fur or something, you know, it's this is really an amazing soft. leaf. This is it. Good. Eat it all. Eat the whole thing, chuck all. it in. Chuck Stem. it in, yeah. I love it. That's the stuff. <laughs> Give me some more of that. How good is that? I really love this stuff. Wow. You know, see me on the super low tide just this morning. And then um, I picked all the rest of my inbound plants and it's such a small area, you can find so much. So we're getting, it's pumping wild fennel at the moment around, all around these areas. Now uh, this one kicks. So you know you're saying about poorly stomach, feeling nauseous and things like that. And high temperatures, um, fever with the aches and pains, this helps reduce your fever naturally without having to go to the chemist. And also it tastes like Tangfastic Haribo's, the sour, <laughs> super, super sour one. So this is your sour challenge if you're up for it. Oh wow! Mm. Oh, Everything from the sourness is crazy, isn't it? Eat your heart out, Haribo. This is it. How good is it, though, mate? So good. <laughs> now you can see I don't use this on myself, but this is the original hairbrush. So you can see you just brush my beard, lovely. Here we go, <laughs> moustache. Puts hairs on your chest. Thank God. <laughs> I've, been, I've been waiting for something. Here, you want some water? <laughs> I'm on the verge of needing water. Holy crap. It's so if you really like it, chuck the whole thing in, you know? Oh, it is. Mm. Licorice. Yeah. We could eat the stinging nettles as well. Screw it up into a bowl, into the back of the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so another one puts hairs on your chest. <laughs> There's a lot of kids out there with stinging this mouths. This is it, this is it, I know, I know. This guy has an encyclopedic knowledge. Absolutely fascinating. I've never had such fun eating leaves and grass before. 
Tonight I'm staying in the Durrell Jersey Zoo, in a beautiful yurt right next to the lemur enclosure. I can't quite believe it. Sadly, I can't visit the zoo because my final challenge is to edit a film about my visit before heading down the hill back into St Helier to show some new friends exactly what I managed to see and do during my 36 hours in Jersey. <laughs>